Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Latest and latest updates coming in from the camp of Blackstar's team, Blackstar's players, and some few quick updates we need to know in this one. The breaking news is that Ghana versus Sudan, the match that will be played on the 11th of this month, 2024, is finally going to happen in Ghana. And it is going to happen at the Accra Sports Stadium. That is the breaking news that this morning we have received, and I'll confirm everything for you. Ghana can host Sudan now. But there is a but. Well, we will talk a little bit about it and also check out the official confirmation as we were all waiting for it. It is now in and let's talk about it. Yesterday, we also had Thomas Tempate who also performed stupendously for Arsenal as Arsenal defeated Paris Saint-Germain in the UEFA Champions League game together with Brandon Thomas Asante who scored a super goal for his club side, the third goal so far since he joined Coventry City, together with some few other players' performances and some more news in this update. If you have joined me, take your time, like the video as always. After that, if you are new, subscribe to this channel, put us some post notifications so that time I'll drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box and after watching the video, share the link so that others will also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel now no time to waste quickly let me begin from Accra Sports Stadium because that is where all the news is coming from this morning as we've all been hearing that Cape Coast Sports Stadium was ready to host Ghana versus Sudan the officials were also pushing for Accra Sports Stadium to be accepted and early morning we have received official confirmation Ghana Football Association official page they have confirmed it and Ministry of Youth and Sports they have also confirmed that Ghana versus Sudan which will be played on the 11th of this month exactly 4 p.m. is going to happen in Ghana here and it is going to happen at the Accra Sports Stadium. Let's check out this particular um, you know, post from Ghana Football Association. Accra Sports Stadium approved for Ghana versus Sudan Africa Cup of Nation qualifier. Then the, um, this is the statement. The Confederation of Africa Football CAF has approved the Accra Sports Stadium for the Total Energies 2025 Africa Cup of Nations match day three, um, qualified between Ghana and Sudan. The letter from CAF to General Secretary Prosper Harrison Addo, Esquire, read Following a, compre a comprehensive review of the um, report of the CAF independent inspection regarding the Cape Coast and Accra Sports Stadia, we are pleased to inform um, you that the Accra Sports Stadium has been approved to host the AFCON qualifiers um, for Morocco 2025. Specifically, it will host the Group F match day three encounter between Ghana and Sudan, which is scheduled for October 11, 2024. In light of this approval, we kindly request that the Ghana Football Association and the stadium management team prioritize the necessary um, necessary enhancements to the pitch and other critical areas of the stadium leading up to the match day to ensure an optimal experience for both teams and the attending fans. Please note that CAF will closely um, will continue to closely monitor the readiness of the stadium for this match as well as future um, CAF sanctioned events. This fixture is um, scheduled for Friday 11th October 2024. So this is the official confirmation from CAF that Ghana will play against uh, Middle Sudan on the 11th at Accra Sports Stadium. So right now, the venue has been approved and everything is set for that. So let's check out the video that I got from Accra Sports Stadium last two days when works were going on, as well as yesterday when they were also doing some few works on the pitch. After that, then we will talk more about it. And what are our thoughts? Let me know it in the comment box.
Cause who are you to judge me like say you be? Hey, I didn't love my life, get my peace of mind. I didn't try to survive. We all be seen as my body, nobody can pass. The man who does not serve me, the back of life. Everybody, let's go. Who not I? Who I be lying to me? Hey, I'm a selector. So that is it's also coming in from um, you know Accra Sports Stadium. So for now they are almost done with the bench area, and I understand that washroom too. They have to also do some few works over there. And as I said the last time, they are working on a lot of things at Accra Sports Stadium. Not only the pitch, but some uh, exterior works and also interior works. They have to do all those stuff. But this morning, the breaking news is Ghana versus Sudan will happen at Accra Sports Stadium. Hot I thought after Bamino um, you know, CAF they revoked the approval of Barbara Sports Stadium to host CAF category C matches when Ghana played against um, you know Angola. They all saw that the pitch was very bad, and because of that, they revoked the approval as well as um, some other venues have all been closed now for renovation works to begin. And for now, Accra Sports Stadium has been cleared to host Ghana versus Sudan. Hot are your thoughts? Let me know it in the comment box. I've already brought you an update that Ghana vs Sudan. Um, we can watch it on GTV, GTV Sports Plus, GCTV, Obonu TV, as well as other platforms will be streaming it for us. So don't worry at all. When the game is getting closer, I'll bring you all the updates. Coach Otoado is also expected to release his squad, possibly by the end of this week. So we are also watching him or monitoring him closely. When everything is out, we also bring it to you on this channel. So that is that for you this morning. Now, yesterday, Thomas Tepati was also in action for Arsenal and Partey was just stupendous. He did very well in the game. Everyone was mentioning Partey. If you didn't watch the game, I'm telling you, Partey was that good. Yes, when Partey was substituted for uh, Moreno, Yes, to come on for Arsenal, you could just see that the Arsenal midfield was broken. Um, you know, PSG were just, you know, passing through the midfield like that. Tells you that Pate was great yesterday. Arsenal won 2 0 against Paris Saint Germain, and we had goals from Kai Havertz as well as Bukayo Saka in the game. Pate was rated 6.9 after playing 64 minutes, he had touches of 34. And he completed 26 out of 29 passes, which is 90% for the Ghanaian midfielder. Long balls he sent two, one was accurate, then one ground wall won out of one. Possession loss were only three. Three interceptions from Pate, one tackle, and he did some few things for his club side in the game yesterday. Pate, almost a goal was credited to him. You know, that goal that was scored by Kai Havet. Um, you know, the second one, Kai um, Bukai Osaka, rather, it was a, con, uh, a free kick. And then Pate actually, um, you know, tried to get something on the ball, but later on, they got to find out that the ball didn't really touch Pate like that. So they credited the goal to Bukai Osaka, and that is that in there. Yesterday, we also have Ghanaian striker, Brandon Thomas Asante, who scored his third goal for Coventry City. They defeated Blackburn Rovers by some 3 0, and he scored on the 84th minute a very very super goal from him i'll try and leave the link of that goal in the comment box you can click it and go and check it out you know the top leagues like that we cannot be showing highlights because of copyright issues but thomas asante is also doing well for his club side he was rated 7.2 and had touches of um you know 21 then he also had shot on target of two where he scored one um, he completed seven passes out of nine attempts, which is 78%. One long ball, ground was he went in for five and one two. Aero was he went in for ten and one one. Possession loss were six. One foul from him, and that is it also for Brandon Thomas Asante. Then, um, let me chip in this. We also have Ali Dusedu, who has won Stad Ren Player of the Month. Yes, he, he is doing so well. He actually um, won it for the month of September. And it tells you that Ali Dusedu, he is also performing well, as I've been speaking about him a lot on this channel his performance has been impressive and that is it also on him so i'll follow a lot of updates and bring you more on this channel and my next video i'm also going to give shout out so stick and stay for that yes today i'm afraid that the light will go off so i have to quickly do this update and i'll bring you more later in my subsequent ones don't forget to always like the video for me subscribe put on the bell for more updates on this channel this is kenny tv and of course we shall meet later